Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. Today, our first look of the unboxing of a used uh, Music Man uh, Sterling Stingray short scale bass. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and take it out of the box. We'll open it together and see what we think. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. Uh, the color of this bass is not my preference. It's in the dolphin blue with the maple neck. I don't know. It doesn't speak to me. Uh, I like blue. I'm not big crazy about blue on guitars, but blue is actually one of my favorite colors. I just don't really like it on guitars very much. But uh, the price was right on this. It was a used instrument. I thought it was a fair price. Guy had put it in a case, and I think he included some strings. So, you know, fair price, set of strings, and a case, even though it's not a, you know, a very expensive case. It is a case. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and sacrifice uh, my choice of color, which is always going to be a sunburst. Um, and, and, and you know, next, I'm not big on maple necks on bases. That's just me. So I'm kind of going to this kind of already wondering if, you know, if it's going to make the grade and I'm going to stick it around. But I like stingrays and I need a base. I don't have a base anymore. And uh, I can't tell if I smell cigarettes yet or not. It smells like it. All right. First look. Let's see what she looks like. Well, look at that. Boy, that tank is tiny. Whoo, that thing's tiny. I saw a video on YouTube the other night. They were talking about how small it is, and I was like, people always say that when they, you know what it reminds me of? Anybody out there ever bought a Carvin guitar or a Kiesel? They always come in smaller than you think. You always look at them and go, Dang, it looks smaller than it looks like on, you know. I guess it's because I used to see in full-size bases. But you know what? The uh, the Dolphin Blue isn't in an ugly color. Honestly, it's got a 1950s kind of look to it. No, excuse all the noise outside. Yeah, I, I, I do smell cigarettes, I do believe. Now, you know... I'm not big on imported guitars, but I'm not in the price range of a $2,500 bass, you know. I'm gonna build a warmth bass probably for it's over with. Not an ugly instrument at all. You know, to my surprise, I kinda like it. Hmm. Hmm. I would've never guessed that, but it ain't ugly. Let's just set that over here somewhere. Maybe it won't fall. Let's see if we got something in here. Yep. The young man said he was going to include some strings. And uh, I thought his price was uh, fair. I'm going to call it a great deal because now you got to pay taxes on shipping and taxes and shipping and everything else. But I think it was a fair price. All right. So there is my official unboxing. First bass I think I've ever had on this channel. It's a short scale bass. I always prefer a short scale. I had a short scale um, Fender bass one time that was in two tone sunburst. I mean, it was shaped like a Les Paul, nitro finished, and I love that bass. I sold it, found it like two years later, like in a pawn shop or a used music shop, rebought it, and <laughs> doggone if I didn't. Trade it again after I swore I never would if I ever found it again. And I wish to goodness I hadn't because I would have much rather had it. But this is pretty cool. This would be great for recording and home studio work. And if it don't work out, um, we'll go a different route. But that's my official unboxing, the Sterling Stingray short scale. It's a 30-inch, I guess it's 30-inch uh, fretboard, 22 fret, uh, Sterling by Music Man. Uh, hmm, nice.